But above all, if we are to avoid a hollowing effect, this process will need to address force structure. The military's fighting formations, such as Army brigades, Marine expeditionary units, Air Force wings, Navy ships, and supporting aviation assets. The overarching goal will be to preserve a U.S. military capable of meeting crucial national security priorities, even if fiscal pressure requires reductions in that force's size. I've said repeatedly that I'd rather have a smaller, superbly capable military than a larger, hollow, less capable one. However, we need to be honest with the President, with the Congress, with the American people, and indeed ourselves, about what those consequences are. That a smaller military, no matter how superb, will be able to go fewer places and be able to do fewer things.